everybody and welcome back to UE5 <clears throat> BP Guru. Today uh, we're going to continue on with um, our environmental project. A um, few issues I've stumbled upon. Um, not really sure whether it's just a project issue or something else. Oh. Um, one is the BP, Sky BP, which always works normally, isn't working in this for some reason. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what's going on. It seems to be a, there's like a issue with the material in this project, the material function, because the material wasn't loading on the the, uh, the blueprint. It's also not loading properly in for the trees. I don't think there's any issues with anything we've done or with the packs that we've used, I think it is purely just a UE5 teething issue. Um, so I probably will try to open up a new project and reload everything in to see if it has any effect. But for today, I'm just going to carry on. And the first thing I want to do currently is I'm just going to remove the trees. It will make my life easier when editing everything um, in a second with the splines that we're going to be covering today. Uh, we're also going to be trying to set, so with the splines, we're going to try and set up uh, a couple of roads and also um, some rivers. Let's just move over there, it'll be way easier. Uh, I'm also going to reflatten the world just for this tutorial. I think it's because those are from something else. That's why they wouldn't delete. There you go. So. All the trees are now out of the project. The next thing I want to do... Why are you not deleting? Hmm? Weird. Okay, we'll leave it for a second. It's fine. We've got plenty of space. Uh, the other thing I want to do is just flatten this world very quickly. Uh, so using the tool again, I'm just going to get rid of any uh, hills and stuff that I've done. So using the flatten tool will just reset everything to the level I want it to. That looks pretty good to me. And all I'm going to do now is I want to I want to define where I put my river. There's some more trees down there. That's annoying, but okay. Uh, so if you hit Control and just press down, we create a spline area. And if we just keep pressing down, we can create this very wavy line. Now, again, it doesn't need to be perfect as such. You can rotate them ever so slightly to get the better, the shape you kind of want. I don't want this to be so pronounced, this movement. Let's try it again. That's a little bit better. I kind of want it to be as straight as I can get it, okay? Uh, we just want this to def oh there you go that's a little bit better we just want to be able to see it right now this is going to be my river so I'm setting this up for the river currently uh, it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to push down into the ground anyway you can move it up and stuff and sort of amend it it might be that there's some I've missed some uh, of the leveling off in the world as well Uh, let's bring this one to the end like so I just want to make sure I've definitely flattened this off yeah I think that was where my issue was coming in go back on to manage there we go oh yeah that looks way better and you can you can make some more kinks in it if you want to uh, to be honest I think I probably will make this a little bit more I've put the, the, I think what I've done here is I've put a lot of um, oh gosh I've put a lot of uh, splines at the front here but not too many later on uh, yeah that looks kind of good I kind of like that I can dig that let's just um, bring this back over here a little bit more now if I want to because I've selected it I can add another one in if I need to oh not like that I can't uh, that looks good okay there we go yeah just don't have one selected or nothing selected um, should I say 
and then let's just oh it's too high down 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 there you go better okay so we've got a nice flat land we can work with and we've got a basic spline we can work with let's uh use our tools now to oh gosh if i make sure it's perfect before you start doing any of this crazy stuff i might need i think it's where i pulled it up or down depending find the spline point wherever it is and uh, yeah, it just needs to come up. That's the problem. Uh, and so there's that one. Okay. So we want to um, select all connected control points. So that's selected everything. Um, we then want to go into our general and we want to set a mesh to this. Uh, I'm going to just use. Uh, you could probably use a plane. I think Brushify does give us a um, a road pack. Now I think I've done this on the wrong one. So th th there's a problem with this thing that you can accidentally set it up to the wrong section. Um, let's try this one. Oh, okay, same effect, interesting. Uh, mesh overrides. Now that's where we set the, um, the thing up. Um, mm, 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 mm. Uh, maybe it's updates mine uh, ah yeah sorry I've put it in the wrong one I did so um, ah so we want to update all spline mesh levels Come down here where it says spline meshes, add one in, and that's where we add the road in. So you'll want to clear off the other one, but that should, there we go, that's a lot better. Um, so to get rid of the other one, just click on control points, come down here, and clear this one off. There you go, gets rid of all of it, there we go, brilliant. So control points, update spline mesh levels. Then we want to add a material in. I'm because this is going to be the river. I'm just going to look for river. No, nope. uh, maybe water. We should have a couple. Uh, water. Let's go for lake. Now it's not going to be entirely perfect at the moment because we haven't actually affected any of our terrain in order for it to sit nicely. Um, now it could be that there's another issue with the materials for this as well because we seem to be having, apart from our landscape, we seem to be having a lot of issues with anything to do with um, materials on this project for some reason. But now I want to sit it in the ground a little bit, like so, because I'm going to push down on the ground. Drag this out a little bit more. Um, so make sure it is sat a little bit into the ground. Uh, I will widen this as well. Oh, there we go. It's coming. It is coming in. This one's deciding to work for me for some reason. Uh, hopefully it'll look a bit better once it's fully loaded in. Okay. Now this is set up to be the road, bearing in mind. You could just use a flat plane, something like that. And this one I'm going to just drag up actually slightly higher. There we go. Next thing I want to do now is go back to my sculpt tool. And I want to hold down shift, I believe. And I want to, pre yeah, click shift and in, but that was way too big. You just want to do it uh, for the size that is. Uh, I'm going to up my tool strength as well. Uh, that could be good. I'm just gonna press it down three times. There we go. 
and then using the flatten tool starting here I'm going to just follow it along my spline as best as I can you might want to make it a little bit smaller but overall we just want to follow this along um, like so because we're going to widen this as well don't forget so it doesn't need to be a, a million percent perfect um, because we're going to widen it right like that there you go now you might want to bring it in a little bit closer depending on what kind of shape of river you want like so just bring it in on that corner a bit um, I think I went pretty wide down here to be honest but just just bring it in a bit uh, and then when we go back to our spline all spline oh let's go back a bit shall we oh there we go uh, didn't do that right did I um, click on this uh, get control points so we select all of them uh, and then we just want to oh um, I wanted to Maybe if I do it on the individual one, I might have to do this individually. Um, 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 um. Ah, you could probably do width on here actually. Okay, so let's retry that. Uh, let's go to all control points and then pull off the. Set this to. 1500 or oh, nearly uh, let's go for 2000 you basically just want it so it's bleeding into um, the rest of the river now uh, the rest of the wall it's gonna need to be a bit bigger so let's go 2200 there we go and I'm just gonna pull this back a little bit and as you can see we now have a river now it's not, I don't know what's going on with the textures, um, but they are, it is there, it's just not looking like it should, but here we go, I'm also floating, what is happening, that could be, ah, that's the river doing that, it needs to come down a bit, so the spline will affect your character by the way, it has got somewhat of a, um, has got somewhat of a collision. Let's try that again. We shouldn't be floating now. There we go, we're not floating there. So yeah, you will need to um why what is going on with this character? Um yeah you will need to change the collision on the mesh to stop so it allows it to still go in. But yeah we have a river, it's not it's really bad looking. I don't know what's going on with these textures. In this project but um, so long as your textures are working you um, let's click on the spline let's have a look here so if I update spline mesh data let's try a different one um, let's just put in water The only other one we can try is the ocean one. Um, see if it looks any better. Um, weirdly, the landscapes come through fine. The water's not come through very well at all. Uh, the BP skybox is not working very well, and the trees aren't giving well, um, proper textures either. Let's um, place a single one. Yeah, very strange what's going on with this project. And I've never experienced anything like this. So I might just try and set up a new project ready for the next episode so that this um, all loads in a little bit better. I'll keep everything the same. Um, but yeah, we'll try and um, we'll try and make it so that they actually do 
update. Very strange. Because I wanted to set up like a nice little scene, like in the thumbnail. But I'm not going to be able to. Oh, there you go. That looks a little bit better. It's still not the best, but at least the, you've got the rippling effect now. Okay, that looks a little bit better, I guess. Not, as I said, not perfect, but it looks all right. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and uh, redo this so it all loads in a little bit better. Um, and hopefully we can um, next look at sort of a creating the scene from the picture I wanted to see if I could do it um, get a kind of close-up of it or you know I mean just by standing here you could probably see where the tree line kind of comes around and then you wanted like a, you, you want a hill here and then a hill behind and then a little more trees going along, along here uh, oh god, that other one went through a bit weird. I mean, I'm just singly placing these ones, um, but the the, the forest-covered mountains you would just paint really thick. But yeah, we'll see if we can we can come up with something. But for now, that's how you do the, the river spline. The, the road is exactly the same. You would just um, click on landscape. Uh, we would just right-click for a new spline that's not connected to the other ones. Uh, oh, that one came through a bit dodgy. Why did it do that? Yes, I do want to. There you go. Oh, yeah, it's freaking done it. You would just um, do exactly the same thing, but you would just want it to sit on the top, right? So, just keep... Let's put a road that's kind of going off like that. There you go. Uh, and we'll put this to the river. Now, obviously, you'd have a bridge here. That wouldn't connect up to the spine. spline. You would just have to... Um, make it the road and then make another spline going off for example you'd have to make the bridge just saving um let's add one in there just so i can lift this up there you go um and then i think i've got to flatten this a bit more there you go oh yeah it's really not flat at all okay it looks better right and then again like we did with the river um update all spline meshes Add in. We're going to use the same road as we used for the the river. There we go. That probably wants to um, come up just a tad. There you go. Oh. Um. Yeah, I like the look, the look of it going into the ground a wee bit. Looks a little bit more realistic. Why is that being like that? Oh, it's too far. Uh, okay. Interesting. Let's bring all this up. Depends on what texture you're going for. If you're going for like a country road, you might want the grass to come through a little bit, but maybe not this much. Um... There you go. That needs flattening off. Oh. I'll have to pull it up a bit, I guess. Interesting. Weird. Okay. Um, maybe that's just the look, I guess. And then just pull that last one back up a bit more. There you go. That's a bit better. Um, so, yeah. So, this will be the road. You would then update all the splines again. Give it a texture. Uh, we'll go for road. See what comes up. Um, actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to go into the Brushify materials. Uh, let's go for landscape. Uh Procedural meshes, rocks, foliage, no. Textures, I don't want textures, I want to actually have a material. Let's go into collections, no. Hmm. Rock sands, no. Let's go rock, no. Maybe if I go into meshes, roads. Ah, here we go, materials. Let's go for like a nice gravel road. Um, do, 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 do. let's try this one 
Oh, let's go down a bit so I can find it. Let's chuck it in there. Now the textures need to load in. Pesky texture compiling. While we wait. Let's push this down a bit. Now I'm not again. I I'm still not sure why the textures are playing up in the way that they are. See, this is it's flat, but it doesn't look flat, right? Let's just do this. Um, but you you get the idea that um, if my textures weren't messing up for this pack, it would probably look perfect. Um, I could try another one, but I don't know if it's going to change anything. Uh, but there we go. Uh, that's looking pretty nice. Let's bring that down just ever so slightly. Oh, there you go. It sat there pretty nicely, to be fair. But yeah, so you'd have like a nice road going through here and into the river. Then you'd have like a little bridge, and then the road, the spline would carry on. You'd start up a new spline and carry that on. But this all works seamlessly between the levels. Um, it works really, really nicely. Um, don't know why that didn't load up. See, it's just strange. The textures are being very weird for this project, and I don't understand why. So I think it's going to have to be. Oh, let's um update spline, spline stuff. Yeah, it's just being a real big pain in the butt. Let's try another one. If I open it up, what does it say? Hmm, weird. seems strange that it's it's fine and then all of a sudden you, you go to use it and it just doesn't work um, yeah no nothing seems to be playing ball oh that one's uploading interesting hmm weird as I say I'll probably try and load up a new project and um, at least fix the textures right and then we'll reset everything up as it is currently now. But um, I'll do that tomorrow. But I mean, the water looks better than it does. But Jesus, does it look like the texture's not playing ball very well? Um, I'll I'll see what I can do to fix it. Um, these textures in another project. I, something's obviously gone wrong somewhere. Because uh, as I said, we've got the. Um, the directional light and stuff and all that working but there's no skybox the skybox didn't even load in so that and that alone is very weird so i'll give it a go i'll give it a go trying to set up a new project over the weekend but that's splines and rivers in a nutshell if you can get your textures working better than i can you'll have a really nice and easy way to put in rivers and roads into your into your game um and i always use this i always use this method for roads because again just by moving them around a little bit you can create these very nice bends um, that would be a lot harder to produce if you didn't have something like this in your game if you went for roads they'd all be straight and it wouldn't look natural you wouldn't get those natural bends that you find in real life roads um, and as I said you can keep them straight as well so it's a really, really easy method to use, um, and I, I highly recommend it to everybody um, to use this method. Obviously, just make sure the textures are working in your in your project. But I hope it, hopefully you found this useful um, going forward, and uh, thank you so much, guys, for watching. Uh, it went on a little bit longer than I anticipated, but um, hopefully it's been useful to you guys. Thank you so much, guys. Take care. Bye.